Hey guys, what's good? And today I'm playing Autopsy Simulator, the sequel to The Mortuary Assistant. The Mortuary Assistant was scary. I didn't get the good ending, but I will this time. Trust me. All right. This game surely has to be good, right? But I mean, if I'm just an autopsy person, then I'm just dissecting bodies, not putting them away. Ah, oh, prologue. Give me what you got, bro. Office of the Medical Examiner, Beatsville. Dr. Jack Hampton is speaking. Dr. Jack. How can I help you? Good evening, this is Kate Brooks. I'm not sure if you remember me. A few I never ago, remember them. We talked about an article I'm working on. It's about your wife. I Whoa. I last Friday to speak to you, but you weren't working at the time. I asked the security guard to pass You're chatting smack screen. about my wife. Like Raw. discuss the topic of... I thought I had made it painfully obvious for the last time. No, please don't call me again and stop inquiring about my wife. Bro, calm down. Journalists. She can't hurt you anymore. God damn it. I'm not in the best frame of mind to record a lecture for my students now. Oh my god. I'm feeling You see the Jack Hennessy? Completely broken. <sighs> this is not depressing. Meds this time. Rai, you're taking meds. Whoa. Huh. Let's close that. Okay, so I'm a lecturer and I've got some issues with the old wifey. Hi, this is Kate Brooks, a reporter for the New Orleans Weekly. I couldn't find you at home. I'm starting a sus... I'm starting to suspect you're avoiding me, Mr. Hanman. Anyway... As you know, we'd like to write an article commemorating your wife's achievements. We would be delighted to talk to you about it. Along with this note, I'm also leaving my business card. I hope to find you at home or at the office. So, oh, so they were just talking about my wife's achievements. I thought they were going to say, oh, like, you know, your wife died horrifically and we want they to talk to you. pay me too little for this. Bro, don't talk to me about money. Stephen didn't clean up after himself again. Weird. Um, fan? Needed for the next few months. Is that the fan from Five Nights at Freddy's or am I tripping? Wednesday. It's not my favorite day. Although it's certainly better than Monday. Yeah, man. Awful. It would be good to finally repair the coffee machine. I guess it was in another life. Is that my wife? Uh... Oh god, don't do that. Alright, so I need to go to the bathroom to get my pills. Let me do that. Oh god. Well this is a bit it's a bit scary. Oh my god. Okay. Time to pull myself together. Yes, bro, take your pills. Nice mirror, I'll by the way. Back to work. Wait, so I, this is just me being in the uh, hospital, right? I need to set up the camera first. Oh yeah, to record for my students. Um Hello? This place is starting to look like a hoarder's dream, rather than a storage room. Bro. Nice camera, remember, though. Remember, Jack. Don't forget to hit the record button this time. Bro, that's the worst, I'm telling you. Imagine all of that content gone. Okay, uh, where do I want to set up my thing? The dissecting room. Where's the dissecting room? Bro, where is the dissecting room? Is it through here? Ah, there we go. Hopefully the new tripod is going to hold up. Oh! Hell nah. Nice beard though. I like the censoring though. Means I can be monetized. <laughs> now I just have to get everything in frame. Colio. This should be fine. November twentieth, nineteen ninety one. Time eight forty three PM. Recording for medical students from the University of Missouri. This autopsy is conducted by Jack Handman. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the autopsy room. Today, you will have the dubious pleasure of following a full autopsy, step by step. For those of you who have already performed your first autopsy, this will refresh your basic knowledge. In turn, for those whose knowledge is only theoretical, I just... I advise not to watch this after a meal. Okay, so this is just meant to be a lecture. Should we, really? Can you record an autopsy of you dissecting a cadaver and then put it online or whatever I don't know take a look at the chalkboard all right I'm looking at it 
Oh, you mean this one? Oh, you mean this chalkboard? Okay. I always wear an apron, mask, and gloves. Goggles are a must when the job is splashy. And in case of Ugh. sharp accidents, it's worth having disinfectants at hand. It's true that you won't get tomain poisoning straight away, but if your liver or kidney aren't doing well, you may end up with diarrhea. Now, on to the police folder. That will contain all sorts of pertinent information as to who the deceased might be and what potentially happened to them. So, let's take a closer look, shall we? Yeah, but surely you would know what happened to them before, right? Um, okay, so I need to put my PPE on, is what you're saying. Huh. Um... The body was noticed by a station employee during the morning shift. Initially, he thought that someone had thrown some boots and a coat in a nearby ditch. It took him a moment to recognize the pile of clothes as the body of a man. How do you mistake a body for a... Fuck... <laughs> The deceased is a local man named Tory Chambers, who had been who was homeless and unemployed for at least a couple of years. He had gone to fights and had been bullied by the problematic youth of the town. He was the type of man who never kept off alcohol. Damn. The deceased was found on the outskirts of a parking lot at a gas station, where he often begged and persistently offered drivers to wash their car windows. Damn. He worked most of his life at the local port dealing with unloaded cargo, he was fired for being drunk and starting fights. His son runs a hardware store on his own. His wife left him years ago. They both had no contact with the deceased. That's a bit depressing, isn't it? Signs of libation were found around oh the body. Oh my god. Empty bottles, traces of an inept attempt to start a fire, and a scattered makeshift blanket. Raw, don't roast him, he's already dead. Like... The deceased's name is Tobias Chambers. Locally known as Old Toby. Homeless and unemployed for at least a couple of years. That's it. Mm. It's worth remembering the context around the scene of a death. This allows you to better interpret any traces found on the body. I okay, well let me get my gloves, gloves on first, Buckaroo. Now it's our turn to take some pictures for our files. If I can just remember where I left the camera. Um, it's in here somewhere. Huh, so this is him actually, like, looking at the cadaver for the first time and trying to work out the cause of injury and stuff like that. I didn't I know you but did- but trusted centrifuge. Ideal for all the fluid tests I need to perform during an autopsy. I didn't know that you did this first time around as, um, an autopsy person. I thought you left that to detectives and then you dis you dissected the body afterwards, but it shows what I know. Uh, okay, let's go- <laughs> There you are. I knew it was here somewhere. Bro, this guy needs to stop narrating. I swear to God. As I mentioned at the beginning, before we begin the internal examination, we need to document the cadaver and the condition it arrived in. Okay. We begin with a full body photo. Try and stick to the top down rule, but this is not always possible. Top down, Let's okay. Let's keep in mind it's all about the legibility, not the perfect frame. Okay, cool. Let me take the photo. G. Uh, yeet. Well, cool. now we move on to the next step, looking for traces. Take your time. Look at the corpse from different sides, from different angles, up close, and from a distance. You're looking for anything out of the ordinary. Yes, my friend, I will do this. Uh, let's get rid of that. Okay, let's take a look the at that. Old wound. Looks old. I'll take a closer look later. Oh, oh God. No, I'm, I'm not happy. I don't like this. Hmm. Yeah, that's a bruise on the arm, bro. Hands, worn out by physical work and frostbite. Ah, jeez. I don't like that. That is a head wound if I've ever seen it. That's something interesting. It will be necessary to check whether this injury was severe enough to cause damage to the brain. Mm, yeah, it might have been, you know. Oh my god, he's got athlete's the foot. Wounds and the feet and signs of frostbite. Probably because the subject's shoes were too small. Bro, that looks like my feet after going to the gym. What the hell? In a moment, we will check which of our initial observations will be worthy of further consideration. But before we get to that, I need to write down some basic data. Okay, well, we're organized. Perform the autopsy. All right, um... Let's start. During your research, be patient, inquisitive, but above all, attentive mm. to detail. Okay, so we're going to do an x-ray as well. Are visible at first glance, but sometimes 
they can be cover for more interesting stories. Yeah, but I don't understand. How am I qualified as a research lecturer to perform a detective autopsy on Scalpel, this cadaver? Scissors, syringe, magnifying glass, knife. Mm. I guess I forgot to clean the knife. Um, thank you for letting me know that. Um... Personal information. Okay. The deceased was unclothed. Date. Okay. As you can see, I note everything down on previously prepared forms. Every pathologist must keep a detailed record of every step of the autopsy. This not only allows you to track the procedure, but also collates the results together, upon which you may back up your conclusions. So, enough of the boring prep. Let's begin by taking a closer look at the spots I photographed earlier. Okay, this, go for it. You're going to need a magnifying glass. Right. Okay. Which spot first? Okay, let's What's go here first. Mark? No doubt painful, but it's not pertinent for this case. Uh, bro, if this guy jump scares me like a zombie, I'm actually going to quit. the presence of ecchymosis on the deceased man's head. The appearance indicates the intravital nature of the wound. Add alcohol, which I can clearly smell. And this was an accident just waiting to happen. Uh. Here we can see frostbite on the fingertips. We can tell by the characteristic skin color. Oh my god, why would you pick this as a job? Damn. Definitely a painful mix of frostbite, abrasions, and blisters. Oh Although gosh. Toby had been wearing shoes too small for him for a very long time. That's if he wore any at all. Bro, my guy was deadlifting raw. So far, there are a lot of superficial wounds but only one serious injury to the head. Let's go back to our notes. Ugh. First, okay, right, so let's write all of these down. Wound. So there was that, that the side, the hand, the and then the athlete's foot. It was cold for a prolonged period. The frostbite could have resulted from the body's defense reaction. The safety of the internal organs is more important than fingers, nose, or ears. Gotcha. As you can see, we don't have much to go on. Not let's especially. What preliminary causes of death we can think of. Hmm. Okay, so ecchymosis, doesn't that result if you have, like, really bad head trauma? Like, if someone hits you around the head? I think so, right? Various types of accidents are a common cause of death among the homeless and the elderly. Okay, a fall, fine. And accidentally hit his head. Or maybe he was hit by someone else. This is of no interest to us. The old poorly healed wound, okay. Considering the conditions in which he slept, his body may have become hypothermic. The nights have been particularly nasty lately. We will check oh, if there God. are any signs of freezing internally. Since the deceased clearly smelled of alcohol, I'll add alcohol poisoning to our list. Yeah, I'm not sure it's alcohol poisoning, G. We still have one thing left from the basics. Rigor mortis. Ah, yes. Yield rigor mortis. Well, we take our deceased by the hand. Gradually we raise it. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. Oh my god, this is disturbing. Now let it go. As you can see, the hand falls loose. What's the conclusion? Death must have occurred more than 72 hours ago. Oh yeah, because rigor mortis is checking for like the correct. muscle spasms to see like how long they've been amongst the other side. I guess, right? Head trauma seems the most promising, so we'll start there. For this, I need an oscillating saw. Oh, please. Don't talk to me about oscillating saw. Oh! The cut is made from ear to ear. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh. After which... We remove the skin and the top of the skull. That is a nice brain though, too, fair. After the basic examination, we can see that the brain's cerebral gyri in both hemispheres are similar. Oh my god, that is a very weird brain, the brain though. looks good. Let's take a cross-section. Oh god. Ugh. And yeah. What do I... Some pathologists prefer to examine organs without removing them. However, for me, it's much more convenient to examine them on a board, which we'll do now. Dissect the brain? Oh, God, it looks like it's sitting on a chopping board. Holding a long, narrow blade knife in the dominant hand, we slowly cut the cranial nerves on both sides. All the time, 
pulling the brain towards Oh us. god, I need to keep it in the lines. I need to keep it in the lines. Oh no. Okay. So ah. far so good. Oh. It looks like sashimi. Seems to have had no effect on the brain. Yeah, that brain is pink, medium rare brain. Return to the autopsy. Oh, uh, you're just going to leave this brain over here. The disrespect. Oh god. A body with no brain I don't like. We can rule the fatal accident out as well. Okay, so it wasn't a fall. Brain is in good condition. So, we so I was wrong. He wasn't hit over the head. The internal examination of the other organs. Hmm. I grab a scalpel from my kit. Uh, yes. Let us do that. The incision should be in the shape of a letter Y. Jeez, I'm learning so much right now. We use a deep cut to reach all the way to the ribs and to penetrate the abdominal wall. Come on. Cut. Cut, damn you. Ah, good enough. Whatever. All right. There we go. Now Gosh. We go back and separate the skin. Oh, yes. My favorite part. Oh, yes. Oh. Now oh. we need to remove the ribs. We'll need the loppers for this. A lopper? Isn't that a fucking burger at burger? Oh, no, it's the, that's a whopper, not a lopper. Um, okay. Quite a satisfying crunch, <laughs> anyway. After Why would you say that? Tissue, we instantly notice two things. Which is... Firstly, there is no congestion of the internal organs. This means that although the deceased was hypothermic, it didn't kill him. Sure. Secondly, I'll take your word for it. The deceased smoked like a chimney. So yeah, bro, those lungs. We should take a closer look at those lungs. We can see widespread black and tarry deposits. Is that what happens when you smoke? Despite the tragic condition of the lungs, they are not the cause of death. Alice smoked too. It didn't kill her, but... <clears throat> uh, what was I talking about? M lungs. Jesus. Yeah, I, yes. I want my wife to die? Advanced Why? Come on. Inflammation. Be a gentleman or something. Mark the damage to the lungs on the clipboard. There we go. Lungs with extensive black gray deposits. Ugh. Bro, how much do you need to smoke for your lungs to turn out like this? Okay, um... What now? The syringe. Now's a good time to collect some samples. Specifically, three. From the eye, the heart, and the bladder. I'm interested to see the concentration Really? You do it from the eye? I thought that if anything, you'd have done it from the salivary glands. Why the eye? Atrius humor analysis is very useful in indicating long-term alcohol abuse. Oh, God. I'll take Five your word for it, man. Left ventricle oh, God. My bad. Hmm. Not on the bladder, we draw the that is not where the bladder is, bro. Now we take our samples to the centrifuge. But before I do that, I need to find my notebook. My dyscalculia means that I always double-check the settings. <laughs> Please excuse me while I run and fetch it. Thanks, guys. So, obviously, that's the autopsy. Like and subscribe. Oh, you... wait, no. I'm not a YouTuber. I'm a doctor. Retrieve the notebook from the office with the necessary values. Um, okay, where's my notebook? Is that this it? This thing is covered in stains. I should check this out under the microscope sometime. Nah. Uh, wait, so where's the horror aspect? This is just, like, just like a very educational game. Hello, centrifuge. We put all of the samples into the rotor. This is the most educational horror game now I've ever we played. We set the appropriate time and speed. Uh, uh, let me check the notes, big man. So speed seventy percent, time fifteen minutes. Okay. So time fifteen. Minutes and speed 70%, which is okay. there we go. Let's roll. Nice. Yeah, baby. Oh, God. Yeah, unlucky, man. Oh, shit. The fuses again. Oh, God. It's starting, guys. Oh, yes. Oh, the blood okay, alcohol good. concentration. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see what we've got. I here. need that. Yes, what have I got? Everything's separated as it should. Our lab is closed until tomorrow after the last... Uh, incident. However, 
Consider what incident? Toby's favorite eau de parfum appears to be ethanol. I'm guessing the results won't surprise me at all. Oh. Let's go further. We will now focus on the card. Are they saying he drank system. raw ethanol? Specifically, the heart. Ah, yes. My favorite organ, the heart. We remove the organ and examine it closely. We look for dark hypoxic areas, clots, or other elements that stand out as abnormal. At first glance, the heart looks fine. The pulmonary trunk and aorta seem to be in good condition. There are no pathological yeah. changes that would have contributed it's, to Toby's it's, death. It's, 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 it's. Wait, because hypoxic means areas where there's no oxygen, like clots and stuff, right? Now, let's take a closer look at the stomach. Sounds yeah, baby. Normal, healthy, and as expected, it's, the stomach it's, has no it's, major it's, external it's, damage. It's, it's, yeah. We must now cut it open and inspect inside. We oh, yes. Carefully so that its contents do not spill out. Ugh. Bro, we're gonna find Burger King here, trust me. We open the stomach. Oh, and what the, the fuck? From the heart to the pyloric end. What the balls? Oh. I already feel like there's something left inside. If it's something scary, I'm not having it. Come on, go, 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 go. Oh my gosh. Bro, this is why as a kid, I always cried when I had to collar within the lines. It's not because I have like anything. It's just like, it's low key hard, you know what I mean? Come on. Just about there. Okay. Large oh. amount of gas. Small amounts of yellow, grayish food content resembling some kind of meat. Oh, did I Either eat a raccoon? Eaten in days, or the bulk of his stomach had already found a way out. Looks like I'll have to find the missing contents. Oh, did I? Did this guy poo himself? Unlucky son. Or maybe it's all in the small intestines. There are two ways here. One is obvious. <clears throat> And the other is... I'm gonna have to reach through his ass to, like, get the stuff. I'll add this to the list and move on to the deceased's neck. Oh, because when you die, don't you swallow your tongue and stuff like that? Begin a thorough trachea analysis by examining the organ. Okay. At first glance, the trachea looks normal. So Ugh. With the stomach. The Bro, look at that. Doesn't tell us anything. If you're thinking this what I'm thinking, we'll you're a wrong tray. person. God. Uh... While cutting such a small organ as the trachea, oh, we God. must make a precise incision. Bro, I'm gonna have to go through every line that exists. To be Trust able me. to oh. cut with the very tip of the blade, we must hold the scalpel as we would a pen. Come on. They don't call me Dr. Garman for nothing. And after careful examination and deduction, we've got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we it's got time him. time to summarize the whole thing. Huh. Based on the report and preliminary documentation, it's safe to assume that the deceased passed out after consumption of alcohol and then fell asleep on his back. Wait, so if you're really, like, drunk, then are you supposed to lie on your stomach or your back? And flooded the airways, causing death. Oh. Yeah, you're supposed to lie on your stomach, right? Not that I would know, but, you know. Um, so the main cause of death was asphyxiation. That's why we didn't forget there about the recovery position at dorm parties. Could never be me, bro. I'm a child of God, or something. <laughs> uh, cool. Um, uh, manner of incident, I suspect it was probably an accident. And now it's all clear. The death was suffocation. The mystery is solved. Um, G. But for us, uh, this is not the end. First, um, the dead body needs to be cleaned up. Oh, and... And then... I'll draw a sword as well. That's a sword. Um, cool. For this, we will need nice. to close the body and grab the needle. First, we unroll the skin flaps. Yeet. And then, we sew the deceased back up. Bro, he's half a man. We've taken, like, all of his bodies. Where's my needle? I'm using the baseball stitch technique. This stitching method is very strong and quick to do. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah, you see that? Beautiful. Nice. You know what? Now That's a damn good job. The deceased ...and put them safely in the fridge, ready for the next stage of their journey. Yes, it's time to go, son. God, I'm tired. Yeah, bro. I'll drop these samples off at the lab on the way to the bar. Bro, you need to stop drinking. Head to your car, yeah. Well, that was just an honest day's work. There was nothing horror about it. Uncle Stephen, 
I don't feel like trekking alone today. Bro. <laughs> this guy is, like, killing my mood. Oh god, where am I? Am I having a dream, or have I taken drugs? Let me guess, he's gonna pull it and it's gonna be his wife. I can see this coming a mile away. Oh, okay, maybe not. Nice teeth, though. It's, 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 it's. Whoa, what? Whoa! What the hell? This is not a good dream. This is a bad dream. I'm drowning in head. It's exactly how it sounds. What is happening? Must breathe. Was that meant to be scary? Because... Oh gosh. Was that meant to be scary? Oh, so now we're at chapter one. Forget the first 30 minutes. Now we're at chapter one. Forgive me. <laughs> Bro, it's fine. Your wife isn't going to hurt you anymore. Relax. What? Why is the spaghetti on the floor? Christ. Really? I slept in my shoes? <laughs> Take your pills in the bathroom. How much pills does one man need? Uh, so much light everywhere. Bro, this is the darkest apartment I've ever seen. And it's also the most depressing. Keeps the defective Jack away. This guy's a real buzzkill, isn't he? This won't help with my hangover. Brosius. Take a wriggle on. Answer the phone. Where's my phone? Oh. The fucking phone. Stop this swearing. Do you want to demonetize me or something? Okay. Okay. I know I'm late. I'll be there soon. It's not like the dead are impatient. Bro, you... Uh, Alice? Who, who is this? It's Charlotte Graves. Oh. Uh, oh, God, I'm sorry. I didn't recognize you. I thought... I thought it was worth calling. It's Why are you still thinking about your wife? Me at home too. How is <laughs> we haven't talked since. You know. Uh, well, there are good days and there are bad days. What can I say? Oi, Parasonic. I can hide away Not Panasonic. Well, you always were the most comfortable in the dissecting room. That's well, very sad. I have an unusual request. Oh no. Okay. I don't do I favors. Yes, I'm not sure. Uh, Thank you for being sensitive to me. Thank you. I'm sorry to trouble you with this. Well, this can't be easy for you. I'll you think? Somehow. I've been meaning to sort through her stuff for a while. Have you asked Stephen if he has anything? Yes, I, I spoke with him this morning. Oh, God. He said he gave everything to their mother and that I should ask you. Oh, I Stephen is probably Alice's brother, Dad. I guess. Well, no, I mean, we don't. You want him to reminisce about Alice. Talk. So Alice I passed away recently and I'm grieving. That's why I'm drinking I so overslept. much. I'm late for work and, uh, and I still have some air. Do I blame myself for Alice's oh. death? Is that the, the point? Okay, sure. Sorry to keep you. I'll look for something. No, it's fine. Over. Thanks for the call. It's not like I'm late and for I... work. Oh, do you have my address? Um, my address. Not on hand. You'd best remind me again. 292 Browning Lane. I thought this was set in New Orleans. Why is she calling from New York? You think I'm going to go all the way to New York just to talk with you? You're not good. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me. Oh my god. Stop torturing this poor man. No problem. Thank you. Take care, Jack. Oh my gosh. It was nice to hear you. Jeez, that call was about eight minutes too long. Well, that was unexpected. 
I should probably find something to send. Did I see something there? Okay, so I'm actually looking for a photo of Alice now. Um, indispensable element of every office. I should really try and read a few of these. Uh, if I was keeping a photo of my loved one, where would I put it? Menu for today. Dinner in town and takeaway coffee. So, okay, so this guy's grieving for his wife. Clearly, she was a very accomplished person because the journalist was looking for her achievements. And I'm grieving, but also hateful towards her. How come? But I still kept photos of her, so... Aww. Now I feel sorry for this guy. Bro, you have to let yourself heal, alright? Don't blame yourself. And don't That's drink yourself away. Oh. Bro, things get better, alright? They really do. Hmm. What is that? Jeez, I thought those were kinky handcuffs for a second, Jesus. Um... It's always good to have something for a rainy day. Oi! Go on, mate. I wasn't able to support her through this. Oh, God. I'm guessing that means that she was pregnant, right? Is it one bar for not, two bars for yes? Would no, not a dad. So they were pregnant, but he That's said he didn't support her. For a rainy day. Oh. What the hell? Will you marry me? <sighs> she got it for her first day of work, and she broke it the same day. She said it was for luck. For Alice. <sighs> Until death do us part. Huh. Is this the engagement ring? Okay, well, it won't let me pick up the thing below, but I'm assuming that's like a wedding invitation type thingy. Well, um, okay, so let's find a... Time flies, and probably doesn't have to get up to work. So basically, they were getting married, and everything was great. I didn't like this portrait. Huh. So clearly they weren't... Oh god, they went to Paris even. <sighs> Some days, I just feel like setting fire to all this paperwork. I'm but fed up with it. I still feel uneasy. At this time, Alice would probably be sitting here reading a book. Bro. Come on, this is a good enough picture. Do you want to keep this for yourself? Is that the thing? On the downside, you're getting old. On the plus side, unlike me, you won't start going bald. Happy birthday, my dear. Oh, yeah, so Stephen was Alice's sister, which, you know, I, I guess that part. But... Ah, there we go. Alice and Charlotte in Amsterdam. Hmm. It's hard to believe they've known each other for so long. Ugh. <sighs> okay, all I need now is an envelope. These were from Thanksgiving. Stephen invited me. I was going to give them to his mother, but then I met Alice. That was the first bro. time I saw her. So he messed with his friend's sister. Suspect, bro. It would be better if Charlotte had this. It deserves to be on display and not hidden in a drawer. Well, I mean, you say that, but like, it's those little things that you want to hold on to when you lose someone, right? I mean, does that can say Bringles? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, time to go to work. I'm seriously late. Well, they'll feel sorry for me, right? Ugh, I should grab some coffee and aspirin on the way. Bro, do you not see how late we are? Forget the coffee and forget the aspirin as well. Also, I live in a dump, by the way, like, bro. These fluorescent tubes are brutal. Yeah, they do suck a bit. Is this what it's like to live in New York City? Dum da dum, dum da dum, dum dum. Where is everyone? Oh my god, so this is another of the, the wedding invitations in this building. So other people must have known that me and Alice were getting married. Raw, that's a nice detail though. Mm hmm hmm. Do do do. Oh my god. If this doesn't look like some post apocalyptic, like, zombie place. I don't know what does. America. I 
hope this helps, Charlotte. Bro, I didn't even buy any stamp. Oh, wait, I did. Uh, okay. All done here. Time to go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. I heard that. Oi. I've got a Cadillac. I'm a gangster. I've got five on it. I forgot my jacket. Ah, uh, well. You don't need it, I'll mate. I'll brave it for tonight. Too bad. So I'm driving with a hangover. I'm a safe driver. Yes. I am at work now. Or I'm coming back from work, either one. <sighs> nice and fresh. At least it's peaceful here. I'm sorry, where am I? Where in God's name am I? Medical exam- Oh, is this just the building again? Wait, what time have I arrived? Oh God, the game saved. No, 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 no. Good evening, Mr. Ridley. <clears throat> the time sheet Hammond. Uh... Well... Some corpses have more personality than this guy. Well, I mean, I am about 12 hours late for work, so... Um, wait, go to my office. Uh, my office is here. Christ. Who leaves the window open in the middle of November? <sighs> so I'd better check the answering machine. Honestly, why would you leave my window open? Do you know how much heating costs these days? In summer. Hi, Jack. I dropped by a little early today. I left the body with Ridley in the corridor. He wasn't sitting in the locker then, so maybe he'll even throw him into the room. <laughs> well, <clears throat> how are you doing? Yeah, I mean, it's your first birthday without her, and... Everyone wants to remind me of my suffering. This, um, I still have a hangover, and you know me. I run to the john like the neighbor's fucking dog. <sighs> you know, today I slipped on his shit again. That fucking furball. He always has to shit next to my car. Anyway, I can't come over in the evening, but we'll catch up on the weekend, okay? Bye. Ah, I almost forgot. Charlotte called me this morning. She asked about you, so answer your calls, Jack. This time it's not a reprimand for being late. <laughs> That's bar for the course. So that was Alice's brother. We'll learn to look under his feet. Okay, so it's like me and the brother are grieving together. Inspect your muffin. Bro. Birthday. That looks like shit. <sighs> I actually forgot it was today. Alice baked me muffins like these every birthday. Oh my god. <laughs> a treat for later. I always crave something sweet after a section. <sighs> okay, joke's over. After a section? Apron, gloves, and get to work. Jeez, is this how it is when you lose, like, um, a partner? Is it just constant suffering forever? Gosh darn it. This is my- oh god. Oh. Bro, why would you pick a shitty job like this? I remember you. You were on that talent show. What was your name again? Bro, so this is like- order another batch of these. A TV person? I've gotta remember to do that later. <laughs> and that's the whole point. Set of the camcorder. Oh god. Steven laughs at me for recording everything. He says I have a bigger collection of stuff like this than most of the creeps he's caught. November 23rd, 1991. Time, 9.13 p.m. The autopsy is conducted by... That was Jack a pretty mess joke. Lecture for the Medical University of Missouri. After yesterday's lecture, you should already know the ins and outs. So today, we'll be consolidating our knowledge. So, where do I start? That's right, release folder. I still don't get how you can be a detective and a lecturer simultaneously. Huh. Ah, yes. Samantha Barker. Now remember, there's probably gonna be a lot of chatter about this. Oh, America's Got Talent. When questioned, friends admitted that Samantha's last days before losing contact seemed extremely happy and relaxed. She also oh. liked drinking alcohol and mentioned something about rehab. The friend also admits that there was no indication of an impending tragedy. It's pretty sad. After her first album became a commercial success, she was hit with a creative drought. 
She suffered panic attacks and severe sleep problems. Drugs and medication came into play. Bro, that's the dark side of stagecraft. Like, you can get into that whole cycle of being depressed and stuff like that. apartment by police patrol. Oh, God. Officers were called by a concerned friend of the deceased, who had been unable to contact Barker for several days. During the interrogation, oh my God, the social security. friend of the deceased admitted that Samantha never got to grips with the sudden fame that came after winning such a high-profile talent show. Bro, talk to TikTokers these days. Overnight sensation just like that. The deceased was found in her own apartment in a semi-recumbent position on an armchair. Large quantities the fuck of does semi-recumbent mean? Packets of sleeping pills were also found in the apartment. Oh, God. That's not a good way to go, is it? Well, let's see what settled this matter. As you can see, the body is fully clothed. Therefore, before we move on to photographic documentation, we must remove the clothes. This time, we don't have to focus on the clothes too much. Oh, However, okay, now we can continue with the examination. Again, begin by taking photographs of the cadaver. Let's just I get this over with. That over time, it will cease being embarrassing for you. This is, it's not embarrassing, it's just First, like... We it's just morbid, body. like, like this was a person with their own hopes and everything, and now they're just gone. It's like, it just reminds you like how frail you are as a human, and that's the creepy bit. And now, any suspicious looking marks or wounds? Ugh, um, oh, that is a suspicious, ah. Oh. Interesting. Very uneven. We need to investigate this. Bro, what is that? That's like... Bro, that's like, you know... Tried to hang. Mm. What the hell? Yes, I've seen this many times. Cracked knuckles? From a fight, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> well, well, and then she's got athlete's foot again. Even more here. Oh, uh, oh, uh, I know the name of it. I forget what it's called. What is that? You don't get such bruises from a normal contusion. Oh my god. Bro, if you're a doctor, I rate you so highly. I couldn't do this. This is a game and I'm already about to, like, quit. Like, it's fascinating, but it's a just too we weird. to look into here. Hmm. Pin the photos. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, perform the autopsy. Sure. Notes prepared. Time to take a closer look. Oh my god, this is horrible. Um. Some furrows have imprinted more strongly. Others less. Is that a strangle mark? No, it can't be a strangle mark, right? There'd be fingerprints. Decided. Yeah. God knows what did that, bro. The number of bruises suggests that there may have been some kind of tussle. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, because her knuckles look like they were grazed in a fight. So maybe there was an altercation. And then someone and faked it. Interesting. The skin of the deceased is covered with numerous blisters. Some of them are ruptured. Others still contain fluid residue. Oh, God. Yeah, not for me, bro. Such bruises are caused by either a very heavy blow or by some internal issues. Bro, someone punched her in the stomach. Why would you do such a thing? More numerous blisters. We have some leads to investigate here. Let's write this down. Yes, let's do that. Okay, um... So, there's the neck, the, neck the shoulder... The condition of the deceased. In general, such blisters usually appear in the case of mechanical abrasions, but due to the place of occurrence, this should be excluded. The most likely cause of such skin changes is the high concentration of barbiturates in the body. What is a barbiturate? Currently, it's difficult to say whether the bruises were the result of a beating or whether it could be some kind of internal bleeding. Yeah, so the neck, I was, well, you know, I was thinking what we're all thinking is attempt to hang herself. Fine. 
But then, how would she get the... Mm, I don't know. know. It's easier to have abrasions on your feet, but the number and size of the blisters suggest that it's probably a matter of barbiturate poisoning. I, I don't know what that is, so, you know. A severed spinal cord. Trauma to the examination with a UV lamp will dispel some doubts. Potential attackers could have left traces. This has to be a third party incident, right? I'll add barbiturates to the list of necessary tests. After examining the organs, we can easily verify whether there was internal bleeding or whether the deceased was suffering from something. To be checked in the lab later. <laughs> Given the testimony of the victim's friend, I add alcohol poisoning to the list of potential causes of Miss Barker's death. It can't be alcohol no poisoning, come on. verify that hypothesis. But first I'll check for external traces. For this, we use the good old UV lamp. It's one of the first two. It's either um, attempted self-deletion or some person did this. Uh, UV lamp, UV lamp. Where do you get my UV lamp? Okay, let's look at this. Body. UV rays will reveal any traces. The area around Jeez. the head is empty. Yeah. Torso. Empty, without marks. Hmm. Okay. Legs. There's nothing here. So, maybe not an external... Right hand clean. The left hand seems to be fine. No marks. Ah, oh, well. Nothing to surprise us here. Now, gently, we take the deceased by the hand. Oh, not rigor mortis again. Oh, for God's sake. And we check for rigor mortis. Oh, no. I hate rigor mortis. Ah, oh, don't. Oh, God. Again, the hand falls oh, freely. God's After sake. yesterday, you should know what this means. Since we don't have a So that means she was deceased for over 72 all hours, the key right? Organs one by one. Oh gosh. So I'm starting the internal inspection. Well, it's part there of the job, all right? The skin of the deceased. Uh, yeah. And I proceed to deflect the skin flaps. Compared with yesterday's body, the deceased has only trace amounts of adipose tissue. Oh, what is that? What's that gooey thing? Oh! No. Now for the ribs. Well, not the lopper again. Oh, gosh. What do we have here? Or rather, what don't we have? There is what is wrong with your lungs? Reading. Sometimes regarding bruising, it doesn't take much. <sighs> My Bro! heart is constantly banging into furniture. Walking into door frames. That's a wonder she never broke anything. Before I disembowel the deceased... Stop talking about your wife! ...toxicological tests to determine the alcohol content in the body. <clears throat> I just need my syringe. Bro, this girl got bronchitis. Look at those lungs, though. What? Just to be sure, I'm taking samples from three organs. The eyeball, the heart, and the bladder. Analysis will rule out, or confirm, alcohol poisoning uh. as the cause of death. I mean, we know it's not going to be alcohol poisoning, bro. Are you, are you kidding me? Oh, God. That... Is that how you get to the bladder? Why not just go directly through, like... All done. I'll the, transfer these to the centrifuge. Whatever plane. Sagittal plane. What was it? 15? 70? 10? Uh, 75? Um, it was 15 at 70%. 15 minutes at 70%. But because this guy's a forgetful idiot, I will go and get the notebook. Maybe I will also get jump scared. Because, bro, so far, this has been very fascinating. Maybe one day I will need my notebook. You shouldn't really need it for two numbers, but because you're a drunk, depressing man, I'll allow you. Is there a monster? No, I'm good. Numbers have never been my strong point. It's probably why I regularly forgot birthdays and anniversaries. I'm lucky Alice always forgave me. Bro, you sound like a terrible partner. Like, truly awful. Alright, let's do this. 15 min, 17%. Yes. One. Tizzle. Drizzle. Gently does it with this old thing. Handle with kid gloves. 15, 70%. Alright, cool. I'm starting the centrifuge. Let's see what results come out. It's not gonna be alcohol poisoning. Come on, bro. 
Don't lie to me. Already open, so. Oh, don't do that. Fucking hell. Ridley, Mr. Ridley. Uh, well, where is he? We knew this Use moment this was coming. Setting. Fuck it. Uh, I'll do it myself. Uh, I swear there was a flashlight in here. Um. Bro, am I meant to see? Like, flash. Family. How am I meant to see? Bro, there is no way you expect me to pick up a flashlight in this pitch black darkness. Oh my god. Okay, I've put up the gamma just so I can see. I still don't see where the flashlight is, though. Okay, I found the door at least. Uh, Alright, fuck it. Let's just go like this. Okay. Um, So the breaker room was over here, wasn't it? Uh, whatever. I know where the switches are anyway. Yep, I remember. First the right, and then the left. Right, and then left. And voila. Okay. Cool. Jeez, let me put the gamma back down. Ah, oh, much better. Alright, cool. What? What was that? Where's Ridley? Hmm. Hmm. What the? Uh, oh, for fuck's sake! Um. Can't I work in peace? What is going on? What was that? Hello, this is Jack Harlow speaking. Jack Hanman speaking. Easy. Why so rude? Steve. <sighs> Sorry, man. This place is falling apart, and Ridley won't even lift a finger to help. You just can't work here. Did the Calm down. Strip the fuses again? Yeah. Eventually, everything's gonna go up in smoke. <laughs> Look on the bright side. It's a free cremation with your autopsy. Jesus, stop it. Jesus. It pisses me off. Bro, your sister okay, just died. Yes, Calm down. Sorry, Jack. Anyway, I'm calling to ask how the autopsy's going. Soon there'll be journalists snipping around for info, so we best be ready. Bro, I know. America's got talent. A couple of hours. It doesn't look like a complicated case to me. More of a formality. The report will be available in the morning. Sounds great. Thanks. Phew! How's your head? Well, my head seems better than yours. Not the way to work. Holy fuck! Jack, turn on the radio! What? What's happening? Quiet! A three-car police convoy was involved in an accident near Pete's Bay Bridge while transporting prisoners what? to Orleans Parish Prison. At the moment, we do not know the exact number of victims or whether any of the convicts escaped. Oh God. However, the scale of the accident indicates a large number of victims, possibly even fatal ones. What? Police are on their way to investigate the incident and secure the area. We know that the injured prisoners are on death row. Oh the my God. The police were to transport them to their execution, which was to take place tomorrow morning. Many of them are very dangerous criminals. We will report on the matter on an ongoing basis, so stay tuned with us. Okay, so there's murderers running what? around. Was, um, Stephen, was Red Pete one of the passengers? Red Pete? He was, wasn't he? What if he survived? Jack, I have to go. They want me on site. What if he survived? I gotta go. Talk to you. Let me guess, Red head. Pete's the one who killed Alice? Calm down, Jack. Pills. I need my pills. Bro, for once I agree with you. Jack, a serious accident. Lots of victims. He's definitely dead. So, Red P, I'm guessing is- oh god. Calm down, Jack, don't trip on yes. me, bro. Come on, you can do this. Nothing's going to happen. Oh, you did that straight from your gloves. Are you mad? Christ. Uh, I've got to get back to work. Uh huh. So Red Pete, I'm guessing, is who unalived Alice. Oh my god. What? And my pills are making me insane. This is why you should never take ashwagandha pills, guys. <clears throat> it doesn't work. Technical break. 
At least I know I can pursue a career as a janitor if I need to. <laughs> yes, that humor. No, but... Fucking hell! No. Oh, turn off. Right. This place is falling Let's apart. <laughs> out of this piece of crap. And miraculously, yes. The samples did spin. I'll transfer them to the chromograph in the lab. The chromograph? What the hell? Where do you see chromograph? Oh, I think I know where it is, actually. Um, I think that's in here, right? All right. Yeah. Let's load this up. Uh, are you a chromograph? Nope. Are you a chromograph? Nope. Are you a chromograph? I place the test tubes in the rack. Take the pipette and set it to draw five milli. Now, just take five milliliters from each. Go on then. Do it then. Oh, there we go. Precisely. Nice. Do the ting. Oh, I do not get this. The next. Wow, that was very lucky. To draw 10, okay. Bro, this is a bit too complicated for me, you know. Okay, so... Hold. Five Beautiful. More. We put the okay. sample into the machine. Uh, okay, so where's the chromatograph? I knew it was you. Let's see what we have here. The results indicate that the deceased did consume alcohol. Yeah, there is some alcohol. Death. However, Five milliliters. This is not an amount that could cause poisoning leading to death. Just slight inebriation. Hmm. I can return to the body and continue the rest of the examination. Don't jump scare me. I'm not scared of you, Red Pete. Ah. The chromatograph results okay. show that we can eliminate alcohol poisoning from our list of potential causes of death. However, remember that alcohol can affect the function of the entire body. It disturbs the heart rhythm, accelerating its rate, and dilutes the blood, which may result in more severe bleeding in the event of an accident. Also remember that alcohol mm -hmm. affects the metabolism of drugs in the liver, which I'll now look at in more detail. First, I'll pick up the syringe again. All right, so what do we I'll want take now? samples from the liver and the heart to test the concentration of barbiturates in the body. What is a barbiturate? Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. That's enough. I'll do the test later. Yeah, I thank you. Let's not try my luck with the centrifuge right now. Now I remove the liver. Uh, yes, that's the liver. No lesions. <laughs> However... Ugh. Is slightly enlarged. Bro, it is Perhaps swole. What do you mean? Inflammation or drug induced damage. Bro, you it have to be taking be some serious drugs for this to happen. Substances from drugs. Let's check the weight of the organ. The weight. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Well, bro, I swear this is what you use for weighing flour or well, onions, but you know, liver will do. The Did you really have to drop is... it? 1300 grams. The liver is enlarged. 13. 1.3 kilograms for your liver. Are you feeling alright? I'll move on to a cross sectional study. Perhaps the enlargement is the result of early cancerous changes. The blade glides through smoothly. I don't feel like I'm encountering any changes with an unusual structure. Yeah, it's weird though, because the liver does look deformed but I don't know no I'm not a doctor cirrhosis. the liver is actually quite clean inside hmm yeah no metastases nothing the liver is basically healthy we already know that the deceased didn't abuse alcohol the question is what about drugs or other substances I move on to the heart okay Ugh. Oh. At a glance, 
If we can see signs of a heart attack. Really? Well, the deceased is definitely too young to have a heart attack due to natural causes. The liver is enlarged, <laughs> not from alcohol poisoning, and the heart looks like it has collapsed. So, I guess we need to go to the centrifuge and Yeah, bro, look entrance. at these. The tubes have like shrunken in on themselves. What the heck? The last time I saw this kind of poisoning was a few years ago. I better check the data in my notebook. He was a middle-aged guy. He took his medication and forgot about it. So, he took another pill. He forgot again and took another one. And another one. Until he took the last one. That's why it's better to have amnesic drugs in box. All right. Amnesic drugs. Oh my god. Just label the box. You have already taken this drug. So whenever you take it, you know you've taken it. I guess. Um. Oh yeah. Sorry. Fifteen percent. There we go. Ah. Okay. I was so confused. Yeah. So ten minutes and seventy-five percent. I was like, "What? Where's my fifteen seventy not working, mate?" Oh my god! So it was ten and seventy-five. Close the centrifuge and pray that it doesn't trip anything. Yeah, bro, don't trip. Don't trip, bro. Don't trip, my guy. Yeah, I'm good. It looks like our luck is in. All right, give me my samples, bro. I take the samples to the lab now. All right. I wonder how she was able to get hold of these drugs. Bro, she was a famous 90s equivalent of a TikToker, bro. She had access to everything. To everything, bro. Okay, two samples this time. Six milliliters each. Okay, done. Well... Let's see how much of it we find. We know it's not going to be overdose. It's going to be that she was killed or something, right? And then I guess the main... Um, the punchline is going to be, oh, it was similar to how Alice died or something. Hmm. Nothing surprising. Barbiturates 0.04. Not phenobarbital metabolites of hepatic origin. Don't know what that means, bro. Sorry. Looks like I'll have to check the contents of the deceased stomach. Oh, not this again. Let me look at your stomach. The collected blood contained enough barbiturates to cause cardiopulmonary collapse. The question now is whether it was an accident or a deliberate act. I'm proceeding to examine the stomach. Before hmm. extraction, I ligate the entire organ to prevent its contents from spilling out. Okay, I'm now cutting out the organ, which will move to the board for dissection. Oh, not Normally, this again. The stomach and intestines are full of surprises. Imagine you was doing this and you just find like a Lego car in a stomach. Not this time. Gummy what? Oh. Evidence of undigested food and a dense mass. Oh, oh, whoa. You don't take this many drugs by accident. Bro, was this an attempted at self-deletion? Length and width normal. No obvious pathological changes. Undigested drugs found in the stomach of the deceased. The direct cause of death was probably an overdose. I'll check the rest of the organs and then the nervous system. Lungs are normal. No lesions. The victim was probably. Did you say slugger, lungs are normal? But was are you right? To be in any serious danger. Bro, her lungs were like black as soot. The deceased trachea is normal, complete patency, no food or fluid. The deceased's intestine is normal, yeah. no clear pathological changes. Abdominal cavity checked off. We can check the brain. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, let's see what's in I that beautiful... Oh, do you have to stuff. shave the head before you do it? Oh, God. Uh. Oh, that's a nice brain. <laughs> brain is normal. No obvious lesions. Oh. I need to dissect it on a board. Jeez, we humans are quite disgusting, though. Loki, I'm just saying. Come on. As expected, the deceased's brain is in excellent condition. No discoloration or changes due to hypoxia. So was it an overdose? The of the marks on the neck. They look superficial, but who knows? Maybe the spinal cord has been severed. 
I need goggles and a saber saw. Oh, I God. I think the goggles were in the desk drawer. Oh, they're out there. Alice. Calm down. Stop tripping, bro. <clears throat> um, saw. I need saw. Fuck. I don't see it here. Oh, oh. God. I'm gonna have to go outside. I'm gonna I die. We left it in the basement after its last cleaning. Oh, Ridley's gonna be dead. I'm gonna go there and, like, his neck has been snapped by Red Pete or Pete the Riddler or whatever his name was. Ridley? Rizzly? Oh, God. Mr. Ridley, I need a key to the... Oh, basement. he's back. Okay. It's in the social room. Why is the key lying at the... Nah, never mind. Thank you. Hey, Hammond. Did you hear about the convoy? Well, maybe you'll get a chance to relive your glory days and catch Red Beat again, huh? <laughs> Let's hope they won't be in need for that. I'm guessing that was a joke. Alright, the... What was that? Hmm. Okay, um, social room, social room. If only he could put that much enthusiasm into his work. Is this the social room? Ah, here we go. I get the feeling that searching through this rubbish is more pathogenic than working with corpses. I highly doubt that. Uh, key, key, key. If I was a key, where would I hide? Uh, oh, there you are. Uh, please, may this be the last trip. Bro, pizzas and ketchup. Alright, uh... Where's basement? Is it here? Fuck. Why did the prison convoy have to get into an accident? Ugh, Jack, take a deep breath. Bro, deep, calm down, alright? Pleasantly cool breath. You nearly finished with the autopsy. Then you can go home and rest. Exactly, man. Huh, so where's the basement? Is it out here? Yeah, it has to be. Look, the lights of the game are leading me forward. Alright, uh, yeah, there we go. Red Pete, are you gonna come and kill me, bro? Yeah, exactly. I'll take the saw. Bro, this guy needs to, like, recover, though. You can't live like this, man. Fuck! It's jammed! Doesn't anyone do maintenance around here? Damn Hatch. Damn Red Pete. Ah, will I ever again? Wait, so... Who is this Red Pete, bro? Huh. Okay, where's the saw? So it's like Red Pete has been haunting this guy, and they have some sort of relationship. But what is that relationship? Where's the saw? Okay, there we go. What the... It would be easier if I put things away properly. Oh my lord. You know what? Leave the basement. Ugh, damn student lectures and their fucking props. Bro, we need to teach the next generation, alright? Ding a ling a ling a ling, ding a ling a ling. Ridley, look at my saw, bro. And like clockwork, he's already sleeping. Oh god, that was the door. I thought Red Pete had come for me. Yeah, you're dead. I can already see this coming. Alright. All I need to do is examine the spine, and then I'm Gucci. With the shades, with the snakes on the sh- <clears throat> Sorry for the short interruption. I hope you all took the opportunity to grab some coffee. And now that I have everything I need, I'll move on to reviewing this guy. Oh god. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. There we go. Oof. Ugh. Let me look at that spine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, gosh. Why is it quick time? Ugh. This is a weird angle of me. Oh, God. The spine is removed. I can see that the spinal cord was not severed. This shows that apart from the marks around the neck, hanging didn't negatively affect the condition of the deceased. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Almost over. Now, to sum up and tidy away the body. Hmm. Uh, so the it was overdose. The cause of Samantha Barker's death was a heart attack resulting from an overdose of barbiturates. Traces found on the body suggest that the overdose was a deliberate act following a failed attempt to hang herself. The autopsy found no evidence or genetic materials indicating that death could have been the result of an attack. Third party involvement must be excluded. Okay. Autograph, and we can start sewing. Um. In the okay. 1950s and 1960s, the use of barbiturates for suicide was actually quite common. I think it was most talked about after the death of Marilyn Monroe. What? Is that true? Oh wow, I didn't know that. Bro, at this point, this is just, just a bag but of skin. Oh, it was a help and comfort on death row. A farewell to the convicts. Bro. So the Red Pete guy, was he meant to be executed for killing Alice? That's kind of what it seems like, right? Come on. Well, there we go. Gosh. Today. Thank you for your attention. Jesus, that was a long place to body in the earth. <sighs> I can feel those hunger pains coming on. I guess I'll have to pick something up along the way. Bro. Use the trash. Leave the apron for cleaning. Uh, now I can go. I need a dirty kebab right now. I didn't turn it off. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Um, hmm. Nothing too scary again. Uh, a nightcap will do me good. Bro, you need to stop drinking. I'm telling you. Good night, Mr. Ridley. The police will pick up the body and accompanying documentation in the morning. Mm-hmm. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, baby. I guess there are actually two things in this world you can be certain of. Death, Death and taxes. And Ridley's reluctant attitude. Aha, I see what you I see what you did there. Bro, get in the car. All right, maybe three things. My whiskey on the rocks when I get home. Brosius. That's a major L. Huh, okay, the story is evolving. So we know of Red so Pete. Cold. Oh, he's gonna come kill me. Jacket to work. This block can be quite intimidating when it's so quiet. Bro. Almost there. Ah, Stephen didn't want to go out for a drink tonight. So I'll drink my whiskey in the company of my TV. Okay. Ah, shit. I forgot the muffin. Well, Ridley will have a nice treat for the night. I'm sure he'll be his happy, thankful self tomorrow. Yeah, he can have the muffin, bro. I don't even like... <laughs> what? The movie based on Brody Robertson bestseller. That thing. I, I like that. That's a pop culture reference. Whoa. Someone needs to calm down. What? Oh. What? My. What the fuck? I would not go in there if I was you. I would but leave I, and call the police. I, I locked it. I, I'm sure of it. I would leave and call the police right now. Huh. So is that chapter one? Okay. I'm going to pause now because damn. But who the fuck did this? I don't have anything valuable. Calm down. I'm gonna pick that up later. Wow, this game is pretty nice. I mean, I actually do feel for this guy as a character. Dealing with loss and having it affect your your psychology and giving you psychosis is pretty. I mean, obviously it's a pretty um stereotypical horror theme, but yeah. Let's see what happens in the next episode, but yeah, um, not fun, in a bit, peace. <laughs>